Bo takes one path, another university right next door heads in a completely different direction. KZI 9 News reporter Jillian Smuckler is live tonight from Bushnell University to show us how that small private school is dealing with the new term. Jillian? Matt Renee here at Bushnell University. Classes started this Monday for all students. And instead of going online like the U of O and OSU, they're holding these classes in person. And just like state colleges, they're allowing students to move into the dorms just like these. And so I'm going to step out of the frame so you guys can see what campus currently looks like right now. As you can see, there is a group of students hanging out, but they all seem to be socially distant and also wearing face coverings. And that's because school officials say they're relying on the Beacon Pledge, which is an honor system to hold each other accountable. Students are told to self-monitor for symptoms of illness, be vigilant about hygiene and physically distance, and wear face coverings when necessary. But there is no on-campus testing or temperature checks being done. They say if a student has any symptoms or feels they need to be tested, they should contact their primary care provider for testing in the area. As far as enforcement of the rules, I'm told they will do that from within and not use resources such as Eugene Police. We have very specific directions and um, we have routine residence hall meetings and then we also have resident assistants and resident directors which are live on staff and live on student assistants, paraprofessionals that help us enforce the policy on campus. We want to be able to trust one another and enforce it as much as we can when we're out and about seeing one another. So as far as I've seen this first week back to school, everyone's done a pretty good job of that. Both of them told me making sure students don't relax as the school year goes on and continue to hold one another accountable is the most important thing. Their dean of students, along with their COVID-19 task force, which is made up of 15 faculty members, will be going around ensuring everyone is following the rules and give reminders whenever they're not. And I asked officials what would happen if a student just blatantly disregarded the repeated warnings given to them, and they say it's pretty simple. They just want to be a student here anymore. And they tell me, for the most part, students just want to get into a sense of normalcy see in a daily routine and so even though it's been less than a week everyone has been compliant with the rules so far and they say because this school is much smaller than most everybody knows each other on a first name basis so if someone isn't following the rules in place it's easy to just call them out and take care of it reporting live in Eugene Jillian Smuckler KZI 9 News